So my video was cut off. Ah, stupid camera. But now the video is at least saved. Very nice. I'll go with the through the curve. I don't know if you can hear anything because it's a strong wind. So that mean that'll mean a lot of wind noise on the video. Now you can see that it puts out a much better beam for curves. Wait. Wait now aimed. Anyway, like this. I would say the Lupina SL is excellent except for the light color. I don't like the Supernova M99 Pure. Very uneven beam. Ah, stupid mount. Ah. Very uneven beam and it has the DRL lights that are made of bare LEDs. Uh, and those are pretty annoying for oncoming cyclists. The DRL in the Lupina SL is a bit odd as it seems they are not abiding by the Required 25 square centimeters for the rail lights without the main beam being on. Anyway, this does put out a lot more light. 1000 lumen, I think. It's about 12 watt. And yet, the only thing where this uh, Lupin SL is better than the Philips Saferide 80 from 2009 is in the curves because it's a bit wider. That's actually pretty amazing. Philips were, I think, some six years ahead of all the competition. It's a big pity that I suddenly just stopped. But that's what you get with companies that also do stuff in medical fields. There's a lot more money in that. And that's without doubt why they decided to stop with bicycle lights. With the same investment you get a much more return medical devices. Okay, as I'm not... that's it for now.